Since 2002, Ellen Livingston has been living a raw vegan lifestyle. She graduated with a master's degree in counseling, specializing in art therapy. In her pursuit for overall well-being, Ellen practices and teaches yoga, being certified as a registered yoga instructor with the Yoga Alliance. As a raw food educator, she received training on raw nutritional science from internationally renowned raw food teachers Dr. Doug Graham and Professor Rosalind Grubin Graham. Ellen is dedicated to sharing her knowledge of a healthier and happier lifestyle with her community. Today, Ellen will demonstrate to Supreme Master Television viewers some raw recipes that are delicious and nutritious. Hi, thanks for joining me on Vegetarianism, the Noble Way of Living. I'm Ellen Livingston. I'm a raw food educator and a yoga teacher. There is plenty of scientific evidence out there um, to show us that a vegan diet is the healthiest way for humans to eat. Best for our health, best for the health of our fellow animal beings, and best for the health of our planet. Today, I'd like to take it a step further with you and, and explore with you the potential of a raw vegan diet. So by vegan, I mean a plant-based diet, a diet that doesn't include any animal products whatsoever, so no meats, no animal milks, no dairy foods, yogurt, cheese, all those kinds of things, and even not honey. Now, what's different about a raw vegan diet is just as it sounds, we don't cook the food. So nature provides food to us in its perfect, fresh, raw state, the way we were intended to eat it. And it gives us all the nutrition we need in the perfect package with all the water that it's supposed to come with and all the nutrients acting together just the way it was planned. Our body is self-healing. It's a self-healing organism. It knows how to regulate, maintain, repair, heal itself. And it will use its energy to heal everything that it can if it has a chance. Why does it not always have a chance? Because four or five times a day we keep putting food into the body that's so hard for it to digest that it takes all of its energy and it therefore doesn't have energy to clean up the tumor that was developing over here and the you know, other problems that were developing over here. So it's quite a remarkable organism we've been gifted with and if we take care of it, there's no reason for us to experience any degenerative disease at all. Let's start with a smoothie. Everybody knows what a smoothie is. Those are pretty popular, pretty easy to make, pretty nice for kids to make. My kids all make two or three of them every day for themselves. Um, you can make them out of a whole variety of different fruits. So be creative. Um, I would suggest keeping smoothies down to two or maximum three fruits at a time. So I'm gonna show you a, a favorite green smoothie and I'm gonna choose bananas and mangoes. These are the little Atolfo or Champagne mangoes and this is a bigger Hayden mango. They're all good. They're all a little bit different. Bananas should be at least this brown to be ripe in general, and they should be soft inside. And the third ingredient for this smoothie, the green, is going to be green spinach, baby spinach. And we'll need a little bit of water. So I have a Vitamix blender over here. So I'm going to peel a few bananas. It doesn't really much matter the proportion. How many bananas you put to how many mangoes, it's all going to taste so good that one person will like it better with a little more mango, one person will like it better with a little more banana. So the mango has a, a seed that goes in it lengthwise and what I'm doing here is just cutting the, the cheeks of the mango off and then I can see the seed there. I'm just going to peel the extra skin off there. And then, well my kids like to just eat this, they call this the mango bone and they just nibble it off of here. If you want to put it in a smoothie, you can just cut off the extra fruit so that you don't waste much. And then with what's left here, I can take a spoon and just scoop it right out of the skin. It's real easy, I'm going to put it in the blender. And I think for those two bananas, I'm going to do about half and half mangoes and bananas. And peeling the skin off. These little champagne mangoes have a silkier, creamier taste in general than most of the big ones. So a lot of people like them. They're kind of like the texture of an avocado. Okay. 
And you could, in a pinch, if you didn't have ripe fresh mangoes, you can use frozen mangoes in this smoothie. You can get organic frozen mangoes at most health food stores. Okay. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of water and start blending this up before I add the greens. How much water you add, again, is a personal decision about how thick you like your smoothies. So there, I blended up the fruit. And now I can add some greens, just a big handful, enough to make a nice, beautiful, bright green color. Spinach is great because when it blends, it makes that real bright color, which is pretty to serve. And that looks good. That's our green smoothie. That's all there is to it. it. Took me about two minutes. And I'm gonna pour it into a nice tall glass. And then I love to have fun when I'm creating raw foods for even just for myself, especially when I'm presenting them to other people as well, to have fun creating a little bit of art with it. We've got such beautiful colors, and these raw foods speak to people on such a deep level. And so we can make it look really special by put it using a glass straw instead of a plastic one. It's really nice. You can get these on a lot of different websites. And I might even put a beautiful edible flower in the side. And voila, we have a green smoothie. And I wish you could taste it here on this show, but you'll have to make it yourself at home, and we'll give you the recipe. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Vegetarianism, the noble way of living, will be right back after these brief messages with raw food educator Ellen Livingston and her recipe for cool papaya lime soup. of eating a raw food diet is an increased sense of energy and a sense of well-being and energy for healing, energy for doing all the things you want to do. Another one of the favorite benefits for many people is easy weight loss. And the wonderful thing about it is it's weight loss while not feeling deprived. We're not on a low calorie plan in any way, so you're eating as much as you care for of the right kinds of foods and you'll lose weight. This, if you haven't seen one, is a papaya. Papayas come in lots of different shapes and sizes. This is a, a fairly large papaya from Mexico. And you know it's ripe when it's soft to the touch. So it's kind of squishy like an avocado. And it generally turns mostly yellow or orange. If it's bright green and hard, it's definitely not ripe. Let's see, I'm gonna start by cutting the ends off because I'm gonna blend this papaya. And you should get a beautiful, rich orange color inside if it's ripe, just like that. And then I can carefully shave the peel out. And I go, make sure you go in just enough so that um, you get off the little bit of a bitter taste that's right against the inner skin. So we'll just take it all the way down. Papaya is truly a beautiful fruit. Wait till you see what I find when I cut it open. It has a distinctive taste that some people just rave about and love. It's actually very like a melon, very juicy, with lots of seeds in the middle. When I was in Costa Rica, they called it a tree melon. So I'm cutting it right down the edges. It's very slippery, so I have to be careful here. And you can see the, the beautiful seeds inside. So I'm just going to scoop them out. I'll probably just need half of the papaya. Depends on how much you want to make, so I'm just going to cut it up. It should be nice and soft to cut, and when you eat it, when you taste it, it's almost melt-in-your-mouth kind of softness. 
coffee and I'm gonna use the blender. I'm gonna start this blending. I'm gonna make a papaya lime soup. So I'm gonna cut open a lime. It's a nice flavor with papaya. Lime also works very nicely with mango. I'm just gonna squeeze it in to taste. So you put in as much as you like the taste of. I think for that half a papaya, probably a half a lime is gonna be about right. And limes, by the way, should be turning yellow and a little bit soft when you buy them. So we just blend only as much as we need to. And I'm serving, choosing to serve this as a soup. And then, of course, I'm going to decorate it just a little bit because I've got all these beautiful natural colors. And uh, sometimes I use a fresh sprig of dill on this. Today I'm going to use a little bit of mint from my garden. So just a few beautiful mint leaves placed in the middle or wherever you like. And I have a few edible, marigolds are edible. And there we have a, a gorgeous soup. Okay, so now you've learned a simple green smoothie, a very, I would call this a, a cool papaya soup or a very refreshing light summer papaya soup. You could serve it chilled or room temperature. People often wonder, often ask me, is it okay to eat this much fruit? But once you learn a few simple basic principles, it's the safest food on the planet. And there is no better food for us than fresh ripe raw fruit. The raw smoothie and soup sure looks delicious. Please join us again on Friday, October 1st for the second part of our show featuring raw food educator Ellen Livingston. Now please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Between Master and Disciples. May your days be filled with light and love. Find out more information about raw food educator Ellen Livingston at www.livingyoganow.com. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG.